today. Shout out goes to Parasitic Graffiti. And for your chance for a shout out, leave a comment down below. Today's video is about lighting for aquariums and do you need to have a special aquarium light? In today's video, let's find out. Hi everyone, Colin here and welcome back to another aquarium video. And with aquarium lights, I have always usually used specific aquarium lights on my tanks. And that is because they are made especially for aquariums, so they fit straight on. They've got clips or brackets that go straight onto your tank and it fits very, very easily. Of course, they also plug in and turn on and voila, you have an aquarium light which is designed for your aquarium. And yes, they work and they work very, very well. So aquarium lights straight up, yes, very easy to put on your aquarium. But with the revolution in LED lighting, it's quite common that people look for cheaper forms of lighting, general purpose lighting, to put on their tanks to hopefully save some money. And in general purpose lighting, LED floodlights are something that many people are turning to. These are very, very bright and strong lights and for looking at your fish or growing plants, they have been doing a good job, but you don't require a very large size. And in my case, I'm gonna try this little one here. This is perfect for my little tank in my garage, and we're gonna give it a try. Now, because it's not made for an aquarium, the mounting bracket is not easy for me to mount, and the cord is very, very short. So I'm going to have to rig up something to get this light to fit my tank. The colour of the light though is perfectly fine. So I've screwed the bracket up underneath this shelf and that's now suspended above my little tank. And has it worked? Well yes, wow, the plants have grown like weeds. So the light certainly does work in growing plants and of course it's bright enough to see the fish when the plants don't block out all the light. Very hard to see where's the water. So this DIY general purpose LED flood lamp has worked really, really well as an aquarium light. Although I did have to rig it up to fit by screwing it up onto a shelf. The plants that are growing here are easy to grow aquarium plants. We've got Java fern, and that is really taken off under that light. And the plant next to it, this is called Rickia fluitans, or floating crystal wort. And you can see it's just grown incredibly thick on the surface of this tank. So these two plants and most other plants um, are going to grow very, very well under general purpose LED lights. So there's no reason that you can't use ordinary lights on an aquarium. You just may have to uh, figure out how to mount it so it's easy to use. But in this case here, this little inexpensive floodlight has worked well in this tank. This is the amount of Java fern that I've just taken out. And um, that is very thick, it's very healthy. And that's going off back to the local aquarium store for a store credit. And in the tank now, I'll have some more space and I can choose some other plants and grow something else. So whether you use a DIY LED floodlight or a purpose-built LED aquarium light, either of the two types will work perfectly fine. It's just a matter of what suits you and the choice is yours. Both of these inexpensive LED lights have worked tremendously well for me in growing all kinds of plants. So I hope that answers the question of whether you'd need to have special aquarium lights. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Click here for more videos and we'll see you on the next one.